also important, as I use this example, um, the company that makes Mercedes-Benz cars can design a state-of-the-art vehicle, work on it for five years diligently. All the specs are fantastic. However, they cannot launch that vehicle if one tire is missing. So you have to follow through everything that we do till the end. We cannot stop at point five and rejoice if we still have five issues to solve. Sometimes we resolve nine issues, but the last issue that needs to be resolved is pivotal, is vital for the success of our endeavors. Finally, I would direct myself to Parliament, uh, which I did in one of my last um, meetings with Parliament, and alert Parliament on an article in the Constitution that is not often used. Article 67 of the Constitution, whereby Parliament has the right to um, champion the interests of the people at kingdom level. So next to the supervisory role that parliament plays towards um, government, when issues are faced that St. Martin doesn't have sufficient capacity to deal with it, and Parliament has to remember that there's an Article 67 in the Constitution giving Parliament the authority to champion the interests of the people at kingdom level. And as such, I would like to um, also thank Parliament uh, for giving me the privilege and honor to serve the public as the first ombudsman uh, the past eight years. I want to thank government, um, the civil servants, the secretary generals um, for the willingness to understand the task of the ombudsman and the willingness to learn what propriety really is, proper conduct, and of course the general public for trusting our office to bring their concerns and complaints because together we have to make our young um, autonomous country work. We should not forget the task and the obligation of the public in general. has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. 
Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Telem, connecting you. For this holiday season, visit Lucky Group of Companies for all your beauty supplies. In Lucky 2, the most modern store you can find, Melanie Color with Impact Hair Dyes, L'Oreal Paris, Black Opal, Revlon, Maybelline, and NYX Professional Makeup, St. Ives, Oil of Olay, and Neutrogena Body Lotion, Copper Tone Sunscreen, Brand Name Perfumes, Disney Cosmetics for Kids and Travel Sizes, a wide selection of synthetic and human hair from the Janet Collection, here extensions and ladies wigs in all styles shape and colors perfume gift baskets a large variety of electronics such as apple hp nikon pioneer and olympus watches from casio psycho and citizen and the latest musical headphones from beats lucky one lucky two and shoppers plaza is wishing you the very best for the holiday season and a happy new year I'm here to observe the milestone of the 70th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. But I think before we get into that conversation, there are some noteworthy observations about history and human rights in the Dutch Kingdom. In 1568, the Dutch engaged in the 80 Years' War with the Spanish, and their primary fight was for independence and religious freedom. After having been annexed by the French in 1810, the Netherlands fought a five years war to regain its independence in 1815. And while the Netherlands was fighting for the liberation of its people, it was heavily engaged in the trafficking and enslavement of humans, most specifically Africans, the ancestors of the majority of St. Martin people today. And this continued for centuries. While emancipation of enslaved Africans would start with the British in 1834, it would take the Dutch almost 30 years later to finally declare emancipation for the people in its colonies. Since then, the Dutch Empire has fought in a number of wars, including world wars and a hundred year war. But for whatever reasons the Netherlands engaged, the freedom and independence of the Dutch people was paramount. The Dutch Golden Age was a direct outcome of the Dutch state's domination of world commerce and slavery. In other words, the wealth that the Dutch state was, has accumulated today was built on the backs of enslaved and colonized people. At the time when the Charter, or the Kingdom Charter, was established, the Universal Declaration of Human Rights was already in existence for six years. Yet the right of the people in these islands to develop freely was not recognized in the Kingdom Charter. Rather, it is veiled, and the two presentations before me only added to my resolve, 
but it was veiled or it is veiled on the notions of autonomous countries, equal partners within the kingdom. And for me, what is the latest ill-conceived and inappropriate term and very troubling to me personally is Dutch Caribbean. So no, I am not here to observe the Kingdom Charter. Rather, my conversation, my contribution to this conversation, if you will, is to pose some questions to the people of St. Martin. How can we, as a so-called part of the Dutch Kingdom today, speak of human rights and cultural development when the Dutch state would not even acknowledge slavery as a crime against humanity? let alone issue an official apology for engaging profitably and for centuries in what today remains the worst atrocity committed against a people by another people. How can we commemorate a kingdom charter to which our own so-called constitution or staatsregeling is subordinate? What kind of development are we seeking if not the full development of the people of St. Martin, which can only be attained in a politically independent St. Martin? How can our people fully develop if we are still subjugated to another people? And what do we really understand as developing our full potential? For this holiday season, visit Lucky Group of Companies for all your beauty supplies. In Lucky 2, the most modern store you can find, Melanie Color with Impact Hair Dyes, L'Oreal Paris, Black Opal, Revlon, Maybelline, and NYX Professional Makeup, St. Ives, Oil of Olay, and Neutrogena Body Lotion, Copper Tone Sunscreen, Brand Name Perfumes, Disney Cosmetics for Kids and Travel Sizes, a wide selection of synthetic and human hair from the Janet Collection, Hair extensions and ladies wigs in all styles shape and colors perfume gift baskets a large variety of electronics such as apple hp nikon pioneer and olympus watches from casio psycho and citizen and the latest musical headphones from beats lucky one lucky two and shoppers plaza is wishing you the very best for the holiday season and a happy new year Hey ma, how you doing? You busy? I hear, just paying some bills, taking care of business, you know what it is. <laughs> I know, you're doing your online banking. I don't have to stand in those long lines to pay bills. I can transfer when I want, I can check my account wherever. It's like the bank open 24-7. I even hear checking the statement right now as we're talking. How's Miami? Well, that's why I'm calling. I'm finishing up a few songs now. But I'm afraid that studio time might be more than I thought. And I was wondering if I could get some help with some funds and I could pay you back as soon as I get back to St. Martin. Let me check my account. How much you need? I think 500 should be enough. I can transfer it to you while online. Direct from me to you. No problem. Great. Thank you so much, ma. I'll get online with Viv now. All right, darling. You know who you're for? 
Contact Web today for your complete personal online banking experience. Available for all mobile devices, the Wynwood Islands Bank, now your online banking partner in progress. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. with regards to air service include the recent announcement by Air Transat in, that it will be returning to St. Martin Airport starting on December 22nd, 2018. That is in a few days' time. Air Transat was named the world's best leisure airline in 2018. The airline will offer a weekly direct flight to Montreal as well as a weekly direct flight to Toronto, Canada with a capacity of 189 passengers. Similarly, the DVDV Airlines just last week began flights to and from Curacao. And on December 15th, we welcome back Air Canada as well. All of these developments point to continuing confidence in the St. Martin brand and in the ability of our airport to rebound from the shambles last year's hurricane left it in. But of course, we are far from where we would like to be. Ladies and gentlemen, we are doing our utmost best to ensure that St. Martin Airport is not only rebuilt better and smarter, but also much stronger. To that end, the roof repair project, phase two of which we expect to be completed in Q1 of next year, has been very important in enabling us to transfer our operation back to this terminal building. The new roof is the strongest of its type in the Caribbean as it has, begin, has been designed to withstand hurricane wind speed of 185 miles per hour. The temporary, and I'm sure you will agree that they were temporary, 
arrival departure pavilions are being dismantled, freeing up more space for our operations and removing one of the most painful reminders of the disaster that befell us some 15 months ago. I started off with the pelican as a symbol of our collective never say die spirit. So let me end with the same imaginary of our national bird. Have you ever watched a pelican take off in flight? It runs across the water, gathers speed, and elevates itself majestically into the sky. We at PGIE Envy have learned a thing or two from the pelican. We have been trying to run through the waters of reconstruction without allowing dampness in the building to dampen our spirits. We have been building up speed in spite of all the bumps in our way so that we will be able to elevate this airport and make it return to the majestic heights it occupied just before Irma. The we I am talking about is all the employees of PGIE NV and stakeholders such as the airlines and concessionaires and day-to-day -day users. All the airlines that have continued to show confidence in this airport. All the airport community from flight handlers to concessionaires who have demonstrated their commitment and unwavering faith in St. Martin and yes, all the people of this beautiful island whose patience and encouragement, understanding and resilience have made it possible for us to show the world that although we were hit by the strongest hurricane ever recorded in history. We are bouncing back with courage, strength, and abiding love for our island. And all of this could not have be better timed as we begin the celebration of 75 years of the existence of the Princess Juliana International Airport. We are therefore poised to scale higher heights combining our collective experience as one of the oldest commercial airports in the region with our futuristic vision of an airport of the 21st century. I can assure you that in that mission, we shall never compromise safety, security, or excellence. Permit me, in closing, to express my sincere gratitude by saying, Thank you to the following organizations and individuals. The main contractor, Commodore, who managed to deliver the project within a such a short time. Corgan, for their architectural and supervision works of the project. Farmer Environmental Group, for its environmental and supervisory role in this regard. PGIE project management team, and by giving you that view of who these energetic individuals are, I would like to call them forward. Mr. Robert Norman. <laughs> Mr. Derek Hillman. Ms. Darlene Hansen. Ms. Ketty Paines. Mr. Lloyd Hines. Mr. Mirto Brill. Mr. Emil Levens. <laughs> Mr. Benson Richardson. <laughs> Mr. Evans Marsham. <laughs> Mr. 
Mr. Jorino Coffey. <laughs> Mr. Jerry Spratt. <laughs> Mr. Gerald Baptiste. <laughs> Mr. Denisio Bosman. And last but not least, Mr. Robert Brown. I would like to say thank you for your unwavering support, dedication, and commitment to seeing the project delivered earlier than scheduled, despite the fact that some people were very negative about us achieving this goal.